Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. 
morning, family. Good morning. How are you today? Excellent. Good to be with you all. My name is Lanny Wilson, and I chair the Stewardship Committee this year. Redeemer is blessed to have so many good people who have stepped forward to be generosity coaches, to work together on our stewardship theme this year, which is a future with hope. Hopefully you've enjoyed the variety of wonderful mailings that you've received with the title A Future with Hope on it uh, that our team so wonderfully put together. Pastor Katie, Pastor Lev Kelsey, Vicar Brent, Margaret Schlegel, Jim Toomey, Mark Roslin, Deborah Krauss, and Rodney Holmes all joined me to pray and talk and laugh and dream together about the future of Redeemer with hope and with confidence. Thanks to each of you who helped this year. This was my favorite stewardship group. Uh, I've enjoyed, the, I've done this several years along the way, but we had so much fun and it kind of, the time went so quickly, so I'm sure some of you will want to join the stewardship team next year. <laughs> also thanks to Missy Roberts and, and Galen Manishek for bravely providing the other two temple talks. If you do a Google search for one of our neighboring churches, St. James ELCA at 5129 Wolf Road over in Western Springs, you'll see in red, red letters, closed. That's a permanent notice because St. James held his last worship service there about a month ago. They're not alone. About 4,500 Protestant churches closed in 2019, the last year data is available. All is not doom and gloom, however, according to the research, about 3,000 new churches opened that year. So, although the net uh, is a loss, at least uh, there are new churches still forming. Why do some churches close, others stay open, and so others are being built anew? We don't know, but we do know that Redeemer just celebrated its 100th anniversary in 2022. And your stewardship team firmly believes that Redeemer has a future with hope for the next 100 years and much and far beyond that because of your incredible generosity. You are good and generous Christians. In Matthew 6, 21, we read, For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. You generously give part of your treasure to Redeemer through your tithes and offerings and your pledges. But you give part of your heart and soul here too. You are good and generous Christians, Redeemer. My wife, Pastor Linnea, and I are members at Redeemer because of many reasons, including the fact that you are good and generous Christians. Redeemer prayed for us, brought us food when our little Lauren died and when we didn't know what to do. You do that for me for so many people in so many ways. We just happened to be the, the wonderful recipients back in 1994. Through its mission work, we are proud that Redeemer is caring for refugees near and far. We have worshiped as many places uh, through our travels and, and our worship and music here are second to none. I'm listening to the choir this morning and uh, I chill many times as, as their, their voices blend together how blessed we are with our with our music and our worship redeemers educating the young and the not so young in bible inspired ways redeemer is making a leap of faith by adding our associate pastor whose name is kelsey Johnson. how fortunate we are that she's available at this time in our history her call here shows an investment in the future of this place so that we will survive and thrive and be a, a beacon of Christian light in a world that is searching for a future of hope. You are good and generous Christians, Redeemer friends. Thanks be to God. I'll end, end this with just a little bit of uh, recommendations. Uh, as Pastor said, at 945, please join us during adult education around the corner in the parish room where we'll enjoy an interactive panel discussion about abundance of Christian generosity. You know, Vicar Kelsey put this booklet together and uh, we're the fourth part of this month of, of abundance, our 
focus on abundance. Then uh, next Sunday is Multitask Sunday, as Pastor said. Uh, we have uh, Reformation Sunday, it's Ordination Sunday, and also it's Pledulation Sunday. <laughs> I made that word up. <laughs> but anyway, pled so anyway, you'll, Pastor, they'll be receive receiving a pledge card sometime this week, right? So prayerfully consider uh, what you're going to pledge this next year. Two years ago, there were only 66 of us who pledged. Last year, there were 77. I'd like to think that we can outdo that this year. So please prayerfully consider what to put on that pledge card. And uh, Pastor, if they bring it back next Sunday, will they be putting it in a basket and we'll pray over it or something like that? That's right. Okay, thank you. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to me. Thank you, Our, even experts to come forward, so always grateful. 